After a month of release, was Sharp Edge able to secure the meta? In this video, you will learn about which combos are currently the best based from actual results of tournaments and competitive plays gathered around the world. You will learn about Beyblade X statistics and analytics as we find out how Shark Edge affected the meta. This is our third meta update and I have added the following tournaments to our databank. From Japan, we had the top 4 matches and some elimination matches from the third G2 tournament where 256 players competed. 3 G3 tournaments and 2 S1 tournaments was also added. 7 open tournaments, the Influencers Cup hosted by Takara Tomi, and also an Idols Cup held recently. Here in the US, I added some tournament matches from California, Texas, and Arizona. Also, a recent tournament from Canada was added and the tournament from Indonesia. Lastly, our last base standing series and mini league as well as a bunch of competitive plays from other YouTubers. You can find all the links of the videos that were added in the description below. Previously, our data bank consists of around 1,100 matches. Now it has grown to about 1,600 matches, which means around 3,200 combos of data collected. This will further support our Wavelade X statistics and analytics and will fortify it even more as we go forward. Just like in our previous updates, we track which combos has the best win rate, what combos give you more points per win, and the combos that has the highest power rating by combining the two stats. The most popular blade, regardless of what beat and ratchet were used, is Hellside. That is two updates in a row now for Hellside being the most popular blade. The least used blade in competitive scene is Cobalt Kirk, given that only few people have them and there is still no consistent combo for it. We will see in the future how players will develop a combo when a normal release hits the shelves. The most popular Beyblade X combo from release until today is still Dransword 360F with 256 battles. If we will consider only the time from Shark Edge's release up until today, it will be the third most popular blade next to Hellsight and Dransword. The most popular beat is Ball, same as last update. The most popular ratchet is 360 and its usage rate becomes even more, while the least popular ratchet is 480. Hellsight is still showing its dominance as the blade with the highest win rate for two consecutive updates. For sure, there will be big changes in our next update when Leon Claw and Viper Tail enters the scene. So don't forget to subscribe and turn on the bell notification to keep you updated. In the previous update, Ball and High Needle were considered statistically tied with the highest win rates. Now, Ball has solidified itself as the winningest beat. Perhaps the new orb and point beats will challenge it in the next update. Low flat has the lowest win rate but this will still change since it is fairly new. After showing you some general statistics, now we proceed to the more specific one which is the best combo. I will now extend it to top 10 instead of top 5 because there are more combos that deserve the recognition. Let's start with the top 10 combos with the highest win rates. At number 10, Night Shield 380 High Needle with 55.93% win rate in 59 battles. From number 1 last update, it is now down to 10th place. This combo was losing some battles lately so it went down 9 spots. At number 9, Wizard Arrow 460B with 57.14% win rate in 77 battles. This is another combo that went down from 4th to 9th place currently. Number 8, Wizard Arrow 360B with 57.14% win rate in 35 battles. Interestingly, it has the same win rate with its other configuration but it has less battles. This combo went up from number 10 previously. At 7th place, we have Nightlands 360T with 58.6% win rate in 31 battles. This combo is new in this list and hopefully it can maintain it as it lags more battle in the future. 6th place is Dransword 380T with 58.33% win rate in 72 battles. This combo is actually a suggested combo by Takara Tomi. It went up from number 9 last update and is proving that it is a reliable combo for Grand Sword. Number 5, Hellsight 460B with 58.39% win rate in 161 battles. This combo has already logged in 161 battles and that win rate is no joke. It is one of the most successful configuration of Hellsight on Ball. 
Number 4, Hellsight 460N with 58.44% win rate in 77 battles. Another Hellsight combo but this time it is on Needle. This combo is becoming popular in tournaments as you can see here why. It also went up from being number 7 in my last update to 4th place currently. Third is Nightlands 360B with 61.11% win rate in 90 battles. This is the second suggested combo by the Karatomi in this list and it is surprising that they are actually providing good combos. So don't underestimate those future suggested combos. At second place is Wizard Arrow 360 High Needle with 61.29% win rate in 31 battles. From number 6 last update, it is now our second combo with the best win rate. Although its number of battles is pretty low, watch out in the future if this combo can maintain a spot in our top 10 list. At first place, we have Hellsight 360B with 62.75% win rate in 102 battles. We have two Hellsight on ball in the top 5 and this shows that it dominates the current meta. This combo was second last update and now it has the best win rate. Having 102 battles also solidifies its claim. This particular combo is popular in Japan while the 460 version is more common in the US. Before we proceed to the best combos that can give you the highest points per win, make sure that you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you are new to the channel. Help me grow this channel so that I can reach more people and help them understand Beyblade the Gear Sports on a deeper level. So how will you know the points per win of combo? You just need to compute the total points that a combo generates and divide it with the matches it won. Let us take the Dranzord stock combo as an example. From the 55 matches that I have collected, it won 25 times giving it a 45% win rate. Its 25 wins is made up of 8 spin finishes, 6 burst finish, 6 over finish, and 5 extreme finish. Adding them up with their corresponding point values will give the combo a total of 47 points generated. Then dividing it with the 25 times it won will result to a 1.88 points per win. This means that every time it wins, the average point you get is close to 2 points. Even though it only wins 45% of the time, the impact is bigger unlike in previous Beyblade generations where you mostly get 1 point when you win a single round. Now we proceed to the top 10 combos with the highest points per win. At number 10, Dranzord 360T with 1.84 points per win in 60 battles. Down 3 spots from last update, this combo is a more balanced build of Dranzord. Number 9, Wizard Arrow 460T with 1.84 points per win in 48 battles. This combo was number 5 before but it still provides close to 2 points whenever you win, so it is a good option for aggressive playstyle. Number 8, Dranzord 380B with 1.85 points per win. This Dranzord is new to this list and I like how it combines attack and stamina. This combo has the minimum number of battles to be considered on any top 10s so watch out in the next update if it can sustain it. At 7th place, Shark Edge 460N with 1.86 points per win in 26 battles. Another newcomer in the list and some of you may have been wondering if a Shark Edge made it up so here is a counter-attack build that is doing good in tournaments in Japan. I also used this combo in our tournament here in Arizona so check out that video to know how it performs. Number 6, Wizard Arrow 460F with 1.87 points per win in 31 battles. Wizard Arrow was advertised as a stamina blade but it is also doing good as an attack knight. From number 8 last update and now 6 in the list. On 5th place is Dranzord 360F with 1.92 points per win in 256 battles. The most popular combo is still going strong. With 256 battles of data collected, it proves to be a good option for aggressive players. It is very close to giving you 2 points whenever it wins but its current win rate is 47.66% so be aware. At 4th spot, we have Hellside 460F with 2 points per win in 27 battles. We have a lot of newcomers in this list and this version of Hellside is one of them. It shows you how versatile the Hellside blade is. At 3rd place, we have Night Shield 360F with 2 points per win in 29 battles. This combo is under the radar but it is actually a good offensive option. Hopefully more players use it. At 2nd place is Hellside 380T with 2.04 points per win in 50 battles. 
another underrated combo because it is overshadowed by a much safer option of Hellsight on Ball. This combo was previously number 1 in this list, so which combo do you think is the new king in producing points? At number 1 spot, we have Shark Edge 360 low flat with 2.08 points per win in 95 battles. This combo is one of the popular choice in recent tournaments and it shows that it is a very good option for attack type players. It gives you a little over 2 points every time it wins, but take note that it currently has a 40% win rate. This is how they balance the gameplay in Beyblade decks by giving more points to risk takers while less points to a conservative playstyle. Now that you know the best combos in win rates and points per win, you should have noticed by now that there are two playstyles in Beyblade decks. Are you an aggressive or a conservative player? If you like to play attack types, consider the best combos in the points per win category. But be aware that aggressive combos have lesser win rates compared to conservative combos which on the other hand provides only one point for most of the time. It is the basic concept of Beyblade decks and it is how the gameplay is being balanced. We now proceed to the third category which is the best combos with the highest EPR or my very own end power rating. I changed the computation a bit and you can see here the formula I created in order to get the EPR value for a proper ranking of combos. To make it simple, I just made sure that both stats are factored in correctly so basically the combos that you will see here are those that provide good points potential with a good rate of winning. At number 10 is Dranzord 360T with 91.85 APR in 60 battles. Personally, I prefer this build over the stock combo because of its consistency. At number 9, Dranzord 360 High Needle with 92.15 APR in 65 battles. This was previously in the top 10 of both win rates and points per win but it got bumped out just outside the cutoff. It is good to see it here when you factor in both stats. Number 8 is Shark Edge 460 Needle with 92.66 EPR in 26 battles. This combo seems promising and I look forward to how it will develop. At 7th place is Nightlands 360P with 92.87 EPR in 31 battles. I hope to see more of this combo and rack up more battles to find out if it is consistent enough. On 6th place is Dranzord 380T with 94.60 EPR in 72 battles. This is an underrated Dranzord build and the stat proves that it is a good option. At 5th place is Hellsight 360B with 94.89 EPR in 102 battles. For me, this is the most consistent in this list and it is already a proven go-to tournament combo. Number 4, we have Nightlands 360B with 95.37 EPR in 90 battles. Don't sleep on the Karatomi's suggested combo. May have not worked in the past generations but so far, it does in the current generation. At third place, we have Hellsight 380T with 96.07 APR in 50 battles. If more people will embrace the risk, this combo is actually at par with the safer ball build. At second place is Hellsight 460N with 96.29 APR in 77 battles. This proves that Hellsight is really the definition of a balanced blade. It has three different combos in the top five. At first place, we have Wizard Arrow 360 High Needle with 98.68 EPR in 31 battles. Wizard Arrow's popularity is really low but it took top spot. We will observe how this combo can sustain it in future updates when more people use it and more battles are logged in into our databank. Take note that only those combos with 25 or more battles collected and there are some combos that didn't meet the cut. They don't have enough number of battles in order for me to consider them significantly. You will see new combo entries in future updates as I add more matches in my databank. For now, use this information to decide what combos you want to work on and what playstyle best suits you. Take note that I will be updating the spreadsheet and upload a new video whenever a new Beyblade is set for release. Data gathered will be mostly tournaments and some competitive plays between two people. Solo play is not recorded here since it does not reflect the actual competitive gameplay. Simulating actual gameplay is very important for the stats to be accurate. Future breakdowns in this channel will be supported by statistics and analytics. In this way, I will be able to identify combos that are really good based on actual competitive results and not by personal preference. If there is any specific combo that you want to learn more about its stats, just comment it down below. I will answer it based from the data that I have collected. 
please check out the videos appearing on my end screen to watch my other contents as well. Thank you so much for watching, everyone just keep on enjoying Beyblades and I will see you on my next video.